guys, it's Jason from stemcaps.com here and welcome to the price of speed. We have so much information that we're going to put together for this new video series for you. But before I get started introducing it, let me tell you a little bit about where it came from. So just over a year ago, a year and a half ago, we actually wrote a blog series on our, on our website, which I'll link to in the description below. And it was called Run What You Brung. The idea of Run What You Brung was to encourage people just to get their bike out of the shed that's been sitting there for the last, I don't know, five, 10 years, dust it off, obviously make sure it's safe, and just get out there and compete. Enter something, sign up for something, just participate. And so what we did for that was we actually went to Mellow Johnny's and we bought a trade-in bike that they had there for $250. It was a 2005 Trek Fuel EX8, full suspension mountain bike, and we went out and we raced it. So the first race we did was a Enduro race here locally in Texas. We raced, we had a great time, actually did surprisingly well, and then we wanted to carry it on. So we changed the tires to a set of slicks, put an aero bar on it. We went and did a local sprint triathlon. Then we raced it in a gravel race after that. And each time we wrote about the experiences that we had. That series was really well received by the general public. And so we always had in mind that we wanted to create a follow on from that. And that's where we come to the price of speed. So for this video series, we've chosen to look at triathlon. And our end goal for this is to make you a faster triathlete by the end of the series, and myself included. I'm going to be the test dummy for the series, and I have signed up for my first half Ironman. I'm going to be racing the 70.3 race in Galveston, Texas. I have only done two sprint triathlons, but I have done quite a few x terrors, So I have a little bit of experience. Not necessarily at a 70.3 distance, however. So as we go through this series, I'm going to be talking to people, experts in the field that really know what they're talking about, and we're going to use their advice and implement it into my program and my preparation for a race. And the hope is that you can see the changes that I make, the benefits, and that's something that you can use in your preparation as well. We've paired up with some amazing people to bring you all the information that we're going to walk through as we get ready for our race. And we're going to start off this series with Brand Speed at Mallow Johnny's. Uh, he's an expert in bike fit and he's a multi-time state time trial champ here in Texas. And he knows a thing or two about going fast on a bike. So that's going to be our first episode, which we're going to drop here in just a couple of days. And we really want to stress the importance of bike fit, which is why we have decided to run that one first. Position on the bike can have a huge effect on your bike split and also your run afterwards. So that's something that we really wanted to focus on. Following that, we're going to actually look at bikes specifically. We're going to do a bunch of aero testing and we're going to set a baseline with a road bike. We're going to change out some components. Bontrager has been great in sending us some components to actually test. And so we can get you some data on the differences that, let's say, changing out your wheels to a set of carbon wheels is going to make. Rota has supplied us with a power crank set that we're going to use to do some testing. We're going to go out and ride a 10K time trial at a prescribed set of watts. And like I said, see the differences in the equipment choices all the way through to a specific tri bike in a tri position. After that, we're going to look into things like run mechanics. We're going to talk with Dr. Kim Davis at Run Lab and look at run gait. Then we're also going to look into nutrition. We're going to do a swim analysis with Play Try up here. We're going to get coaching programs written for me in the swim specifically, and Brandt is also going to work with me on bike and run training. And we're going to do a bunch of before and after tests as well. So before I'll do an FTP test on the bike, we'll do some training for a couple of months, we'll come back and then we'll retest and see what the benefits are. And the, the whole idea of this is to really guide you in the choices that you need to make, whether it's in training or whether it's in the equipment that you want to purchase. And we're going to throw out 
ideas for a range of budgets as well because we all know that we're not on the same budget all you need to do is show up at a start line or rack your bike in transition and you can see that there's some people with different budgets around our goal is to bring all this information together over the next five, six, maybe more episodes as we build up and prepare for that big race day. For me, it's going to be April 7th in Texas. For you, it might be a little further down the line. But we want you to be able to use this information to help in your preparation and execution on race day so that you can get that coveted PR that you're looking for. Follow us along on this journey, click the subscribe button, our first official episode will be dropping in just a couple of days, and make sure you share this around on social media, tell your friends about it, and we'll see you in the next episode. So don't worry, if you just get out there, practice riding bikes, you'll get better.